I don't particularly think I'm bad looking. All right. I have a job. I pay my phone bill, you know, but no one wants to date me. And the answer is not by my standards are too high because I've dated three rats in a trench coat just because they wanted to take me out to dinner one time. So what's wrong with me? Why? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the desert. For today's episode, guys, I have loads of cringe, all right? I have so much cringe to show you guys uh, that you're going to need two days to recover. So we, when tomorrow I post a video, if nobody watches it, I'll get it, all right? Like, you will need some rest after the amount of cringe we have coming our way. But now, guys, I want to introduce you um, to your future wife, all right? I want you to picture that this is your future wife. And tell me how you like uh, the choice I made for you and her little introduction. Let's have a listen. I wonder why no one will date me. I wonder why no one will date me. I'm not being picky as fuck. I know why. I'm psycho. I'm psycho cuckoo fucking bananas. I don't shut the fuck up for longer than 10 seconds. You can't even enjoy a moment of silence around me. You want to know my family medical history? Sure. You know, ask about my last relationship, sit down. I got timelines to tell you about. This is Marvel, honey, okay? We're in the multiverse. I'm a good storyteller, too. But I'm just so fucking skinny that I'm waiting for someone to look past all those things. Well, guys, what do you think? Are you in love with my choice for your future wife? <laughs> he done. Why do you hate us so much? No, guys, I'm kidding. I will not pick this. Uh, to be your wife, even if you are the person I hated most in this world, all right? If, even if you're my biggest enemy, I wouldn't do this to anybody. I just wanted to show how these women uh, market themselves, all right? Like, uh, after this 30-second video, this woman has destroyed all chances at ever meeting a man that respects himself. So, uh, congratulations. Like, literally, these women, guys, are, like, trying to break the world record Guinness on how to be as un un the, 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 undateable as possible, guys. All right? Women used to be hard to to win over, you know, to to impress. Now they're hard to want, if you ask me. But guys, let's move on to our next TikTok. There is a woman uh, that calls herself masculine. We have one of those boss babes who think that they are intimidating. Let's take a look. It's so funny to me when a guy tells me, oh my god, you're so masculine, you're so aggressive, you're not soft, like, you're not sweet, no man's gonna want you. I do it on purpose. You're not my man, I don't want you, that's why I'm not soft towards you. Why the hell would I be soft and friendly to a man who's not mine? Why would I be agreeable and feminine and playful with a man who is not mine? I don't want you to like me. Y'all are freaks, y'all are freaks. A woman is nice to you, oh my god, oh my god. Did we forget? Did we forget? I'm not gonna name him. But y'all know who I'm talking about. That guy who freaking lost it over a cashier being nice to him. Y'all are freaks. I'm not gonna be nice to you. Some of these guys haven't felt like an ounce of henana, not even from the woman in their lives. And that's why they're like this. They fien over the smallest ounce of like kindness or softness. You're literally weird. You're weird. I will never be kind. I will never be soft spoken. I'll never be like super cute and feminine with you. No, bro. You're not my man. Bro, if you're a guy and I like you and you're actually a good person, I'm gonna be bubbly around you. I'm not gonna be bitching him. I'm gonna be ditzy. That's actually something I do. I deliberately act ditzy when I love a man. My man is gonna take care of me. He's gonna be kind to me. He's gonna treat me with a sweetness no other man will. And that is why I will treat him with a sweetness no other woman will. Not even his own mother. Why the fuck would I give that to any man? Thank God. Thank God you think I'm masculine. Otherwise, you'd be begging him. Get away from me! I don't want men like you in my- yeah, yeah, sure. So this woman's narrative, guys, is the equivalent of you showing up to a job interview and the person asks you, hey, I see that you've been kicked out of your last 12 jobs. Why, why is that for? What's that? And you say, oh, no, don't worry. It's just when I meet my perfect job, I'll become the best worker, employee of the month. When I meet that one job that is good for me, I'll be the best worker that this planet has ever seen. Uh, but until I meet him, yeah, I'm just a bad worker. Yeah, 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 sure, sure mate. What a convenient narrative, right? Oh, no, it's not that I'm a pain in the back and I'm a terrible woman. I'm a harpy. I am a witch. I am a gargoyle. I am the you know, equivalent of a demon in your life. No, it's just that you're not my man, so you don't deserve my feminine side, my soft and delicate side. Yeah, sure. <laughs> 
also guys these women that think that they are very scary you know they try to put this facade of oh i am intimidating i'm so scary who is scared of them is, is is there one man who really feels intimidated by them and the reason why personally i don't guys is because i can see through it like i see that you are faking it all right no nobody actually thinks that you are scary we, we see that you are faking it right we, we we see it's like an act it's like a little toddler throwing a tantrum because he wants to manipulate you through his emotions and his behavior no, it's not working because I can see what you're trying to do. So it's the same with these women. They, they don't have the character to back it up, all right? They, they don't have the, the fortitude and strength to back their fake characters. Like, we can see that you're a soft girly who probably cries at night because of bad boys. Like, you're not fooling anyone, all right? Not intimidating at all, guys. But now... Uh, enough about this very intimidating and frightening woman guys oh i'm so scared let's move on to our next tiktok do men understand that the floor is in the pits of hell so if i don't want to fuck with you no more it means that you exceeded that and you're in satan's asshole at this point so when i say i don't want to talk to you anymore say okay madam and bow out and go and be happy that you had that you had my attention for the measly second that you never even fucking deserved. I hate these niggas so much. Oh my God. Because I want to be dainty and I want to be femme and I want to be vulnerable and I want to be affectionate. But they're so stupid that they can't appreciate it. So then I have to turn into a wolf. And I... Well, guys, what do you think? You know, I don't know the men that this woman is dating. Uh, but if we do a side-by-side -side comparison, I think that she is the one who is the red flag and is clinically insane, you know? All oh, these men I'm dating are so bad. No, I, I don't know who they are. But uh, trying to surpass your level of insanity is an achievement all of its own. <laughs> right? <laughs> so, uh, I want to be feminine. She yelled. She, she's growl, growling out here, you know, shouting, yelling. And at the same time, with the same breath, she says, no, I want to be feminine and delicate. Yeah, guys, so... <laughs> Pick a wife Bet between the three ones we showed, right? Let's play this game, guys. It's the game of torture. It's the game of being a masochist. I imagine you are forced to date and, and marry one of these three women. For the rest of your life, you have to marry one of them. Which one would you pick? <laughs> All right. Well, let's move on to our article stories, guys. And today I've got a bit of a more special episode because in the same way that we've had three TikToks, we're going to have three short rated stories. And the common theme between them is that it's very young men asking the questions. All right. So we are going to show up like the big papas that we are. All right. Like the big daddies that we are. And we're going to give advice to the younger generation. Right. To the to the springs, all right. Springs, what is that a word, guys? No, but editor, edit that out. I forgot the word. Uh, to to the fresh flowers. I know to to the young um, patches of grass. Wow, guys, I'm, my English sucks. This is so cringe. Editor, please don't forget to edit this out. I'm gonna lose a lot of reputation. Uh, but now, gentlemen, let's actually check the article stories. As the first one says, I need relationship advice. I am 16, male, so I have been talking to this girl, 16 female, for about 4 months now, and I love her so much, we met in elementary school, we had a thing in middle school, but now we're talking again, but I re really want a relationship with her, but not right now, I want a long term relationship with her, because I want to spend the rest of my life with her, uh, but I don't want to do all that right now, what should I do? All right, first thing you should do is focus on your studies. You don't you don't even know about punctuation, all right? You need some comas in there, my dude. Or me having the coughing problems I'm having lately, I'm going to have a heart attack trying to read this without the punctuation. But gentlemen, moving on to the advice. The reason why I show this, this is a very young dude, he's 16. But the reason why I show this is because 
this mindset that this young man has is the mindset that most of us, the vast majority of us have, right? He's only 16, but notice what he wants. So he wants to take things slow with this woman. He says, I don't want a relationship now because I want a long-term relationship with her. I want to spend the rest of my life with her, all right? This is very telling, guys. And I tell you what, most men have this mindset, right? Most men, that's what they want. So for all the women saying, oh man, they always trying to find the next best thing. Not true. Men usually find one woman that they like and they're ready to spend the rest of their lives with her, all right? Another thing, women say, oh, men are players. They only care about one thing. But the only thing men care about, in, you know, speaking about most of them, is to have a family, all right? Is to have a long-lasting relationship. And this is most men when they are younger. What happens with a lot of them is that a lot of these players, guys, you check their story. Uh, it was guys just like this who wanted to take things slowly and seriously, but no woman will consider them or take them seriously at all. Because women, right from a very young age, even when they are 16, 15, they're already going only for the bad boys, you know, the athletic boys who don't care to remember their names, who treat them poorly, but are a bit more attractive than the good guys, all right? So men from a very young age, they learn, or at least they see from, from practice, that being a nice guy doesn't really take you anywhere. You know, these things that you want, a serious relationship and all that, women don't care about that at all, <laughs> all right? So a lot of these players, guys, is men who wanted a serious relationship. They just saw that it's not how the world operates, yeah? And also, there are a lot of players who are men who come from divorces or things like this, and they have tried to have the serious relationship, all that, only for the women to leave them or things like this. Like, men in their 40s are, like, the biggest players, even bigger than the chads in their 20s, because they already know the game. They already have, uh, you know, experience, and they know how to w work around women. Now, guys, let's move on to another article story. Falling for my best friend of three years. Help. I, 19 male, am with a girl called N. So we're gonna call this woman uh, Ni Nina. How about Nina? <laughs> 19 female. We've recently reconnected after her being in an abusive relationship, bad red flag, since August 13th, 2024. Wow, this guy is very methodical. He keeps... You, you didn't tell me the hour, my dude. From which she has a kid. <laughs> what? <laughs> Massive red flag again. Guy, what is Nina doing? You are 19, you already have a kid from some dude that is not around anymore? Holy crap. We hit it off again instantly when she came back and we've been together for a while now. Already met her family and one of her in-laws. She's such a sweet girl. And then comes M. So we're gonna call this woman uh, Melise. Alright, Melise. 19 female. We've been best friends for three years and have been flirting off and on since. We've recently gotten back into the topic of how we truly feel about each other and she likes me. And I'm starting to realize I'm liking her. Nina has been so much happier since I came into the equation and I don't, even, even, uh, I, I don't ever want to hurt her. No, of course she is happy. She made terrible choices and now she has some dude uh, that wants to be Superman and save her. And, and raise another man's child. This is crazy. But my feelings are starting to be torn between the two girls. And I don't want to hurt either of them. I care about both of them too much to do that. Any advice? Wow, guys. S such a romantic we have over here. Is someone going to make a drama movie about this? Because I'm so invested. Not invested enough to give you advice, though, my friend. Uh, I think that this guy has already made so many mistakes that he is close to the point of no return. <laughs> I don't know what you are dealing, why you are dealing with a 19-year-old who is already a single mother, all right? Uh, this, this is crazy. So uh, don't care enough to give this man advice, but guys, if you do, I'll be happy to read your comments. What would you advise this man? But now, lastly, let's move on to our last article story. Five years down the drain. I hate that I'm making this post but I think me, 24 male, and the girl, 23 female, that I've been on and off with for the past five years is over. I feel sad and hurt, but free at the same time. It's a weird feeling, but I know it's right. I spent five years trying to get her to meet up with me, but she'd put it off every time. 
I couldn't even get a phone call with her, just texts. I tried to be patient. Alright, so the first thing I'm thinking is that this is not even a female. This is your bro with a fake account. Dating you on for five years. You, you spent from 19 to 24 being in a quote-unquote relationship with a woman you haven't even seen. Not only you haven't even seen, you haven't even heard her voice. <laughs> this is insane. This could be a 50-year-old dude messing with you for all we know after five years of her putting her uh off and turning everything i say against me always having to be the victim and twisting anything i say into something she can take as an insult i stuck with her because i felt i loved her but also because she was the only woman who ever really showed me any interest so i gave into anything she wanted out of fear of losing the only person i felt wanted uh i felt wanted me now it's over she hates my guts, and I don't, uh, I don't know how to feel. Sorry, this is long and it's probably Ill illegible. Yeah, it's a bit illegible. But I just had to run somewhere, and I would love advice on what to do now. So the reason why I wanted to read this, guys, is first off, same point as before, uh, which is. Uh, wait a minute, where was it? Ah, yeah, that, again, see the approach that me, this man has, from 19 to 24, he has him breaking his behind to make this relationship stick, alright, I tell you guys, it's just most men, this is what they want, they don't want to mess around, they don't want to sleep around, they want one relationship to be the, the ride or die, it's women who from a very, very young age, they're already switching partners, trying to find the next best thing, alright, it's women in most of the cases who turn men to be like this as well but the other point guys uh, that i wanted to read this story for is this that he says right here uh, i loved her also because she was the only woman who ever really showed me any interest so i gave in to anything she wanted out of fear of losing the only person i felt wanted me so this is the problem that men have uh, by not having options and, and guys i tell you this is my advice don't judge yourself based on the opinion that women have of you, right? And this is a bit, um, it's a bit ironic because I say about women that they are not the judge of themselves, that men are the ones who should judge them and uh, say if they are high value or not. So the reason I think the opposite for men is not because I'm coping or anything, but because women's understanding of men is just incorrect, all right? And we see that practically these women avoid the good guys to go for the bad guys, all right? So this is why I say don't take uh, women's opinions about you seriously. Because their opinions, we see to what they lead. They lead them to being single mothers and dating that same archetype of bad boy 76 times in a row. So this is why. Don't let them judge you. Judge yourself. Follow your principles. Follow, follow your morals. Go to the gym, you know, try to improve yourself. And you will be the judge of what your worth is. And your friends also. But male friends are usually quite honest with you. And will tell you if you suck or not, alright? So let them be the judge. Or let your mother or father be the judge. Someone who has some, uh, you know, actual reasons. And can back off the opinion they have with some data. Instead of some women telling you that uh, they're not interested in you because you're a good guy and you respect your mother and you love animals and you, you're, you're the golden retriever of men and that's why they don't like you, all right? And a lot of guys have this very low self-esteem because no one will pick them and they get in relationships that are bad for them but because it's the only one that will pay attention to them, they stay in them, all right? Don't be like these guys. Better alone than in bad company is my advice. But guys, we'll leave it off here. Uh, thank you for watching. A bit more Reddit stories than uh, TikToks today, but I just found these three uh, in, su in succession and I wanted to read them to see what the youth is going through, right? I remember when I was in my youth, guys, like 4,000 years ago, so uh, a bit nostalgic now. But gentlemen, have you went through things like this uh, when you were younger? Uh, are, are you young and going through this? Let me know what your experiences are and what your opinions are, and I'll see you next time, boys. Have a good one.